If you're a teacher and you're wanting to use a smart pen to both capture your lectures and your notes during class, then this video is going to take you through the steps. So the first piece is when you take notes with your pen, remember to title at the top what the notes or the lecture is going to be about. And remember to turn on the recording by pressing the pen point to the button at the bottom left corner that's record. And the other thing that's really important to remember is when you move on to another page to stop the recording at the bottom of the, of the page you're on and then start the recording on the page that you're beginning. And the reason you want to do that is when students upload, it's easier if they upload pages that are separate recordings because the long recording can start to lose connection with the animation with the with the visuals if the recording is too long so that's one thing i've learned okay so that's the recording of it so now let's say the recording is all done and now you want to upload your class notes to the computer and make them available to students the first thing you have to do is you have to download this program called Echo Desktop. You can see it in the bottom right corner. If you just open up a browser, I often go to Google, and you type in download Echo Desktop, it will take you through the free wizard on how to download this. And it's a free program. And it mostly is going to ask you if you have a Mac or a PC and so on. Okay, so then it's downloaded and you'll get this icon on your computer. What we're currently working with is a Mac. And the Mac and the Echo Desktop will look a little bit different, but they basically have the same tools. Okay, so now I'm, I've got that loaded, and I've now got my pen turned on, which is important, and I have it attached to the computer with a USB cable. Okay, so now I'm gonna open up my Echo Desktop. And now the pen is transferring the information from the pen into my Echo Desktop. In another video, I can show you how you can archive information. Okay, but for now, I'm going to now look down the list here and I'm going to find my pen. And I know this one here, Stacy's Smart Pen is mine, because it has a check next to it. If on your Echo Desktop you have only used your pen, you won't have all this list. You will just have your pen. Okay, now if you notice, I have here this called A5 Starter Notebook. I'm going to open that up. And once it's open, I can go in here and I can change the name. I just clicked it another time, and now it's an open field. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to change that to pre-algebra. And now I have this book connected to the class I'll be working with. Let's say I also teach another math class. Then I could get another book that's with my pen, and I could attach it to this pen, and it would come up in this list. And same way, I would just click on it and change the name. So now I have pre-algebra open. I happen to know that the page I was just working on is page number 17. The 17 corresponds to the page in the book. Okay, so I'm going to open it up and make sure it's working. And it's been a little funky. I'm going to click on it. Okay, great. And in the middle is zero. So what's complicated is going this way. I'm going to is stop negative. it. Okay, so I know that the audio and the visuals are working. A couple things to take note. If you notice that this lettering here is in black and this lettering is in green. When it's in black, that means the pen was turned on or not, but I was just writing. If it's in green, the pen is turned on, but I also pressed it to the record button at the bottom of the page so that it was recording. And that's how I know I captured it. If all your paper comes in all black, then you were not recording. And to know that it's working right, I can, like, here's an example. I'll click on here. Five minus seven again. Why not? Okay, so now I'm doing positives. So I'm going to go. So I can see now how it's going to work together. 
okay, I know that my animation works and I know I have both audio and visual. So now I'm going to download this to my computer and then upload it for my students to access later. So with, with this open, I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to share and then I'm going to go across to computer. From here, I'm going to make sure that notes and audio is selected. It should default to that. I want to know where I'm downloading this document to, so I'm putting it, I'm currently putting it on my desktop, and then I want to make sure I have it labeled so I can find it, and I'm going to call it number line. So that's pre-algebra number line. I've got all that, and then I'm going to press export at the bottom. And then it should come up over here on my desktop. And now I'm just going to minimize this in case I need it again. And now I can take this document, and it's just a PDF file, and I can upload it to my Canvas, to my website, to whatever space I have where students can go and access my information. On the student end, they're also going to have to download Echo Desktop on their part. They will not need the Smart Pen. They'll just need the Echo Desktop, and then they'll be able to download it to their computer and then open it on their Echo Desktop. And just like you have your video, they'll have their own video steps on how to do that. Okay, I hope this is helpful.